All right. Here we go with the next match. We got TKT versus Promise. TKT coming out with an E-Leader 52 comp. Pretty classic. And we're seeing the kind of standard comp we usually see from Prominence here with the Ballpoint 96 Zap and Splash. So let's get into this game. I want to see with the Healer can find an early pick. It does take a very aggressive position on this kind of stage, and that can be very useful. So the cooler being popped early for DKD. We're going to be trying to grab and get those respawns that helps the Healer lead position while the Ballpoint tries to poke them off the high ground. Looks like there is an early trade coming out here. The ballpoint able to trade with the E-Leader. This goes down. And we, we've just been seeing a bunch of trades left and right here. This 50 is trying to hold this side of the map down, but gets taken out. Not too bad. Obviously, all these players have tactic coolers, so they're back here. But this machine is going down a second time, and at this point, the specials are going to start to be a bit of a problem. However, you can see this E-Leader just contesting the zone while the members of Prominence are a bit focused on trying to push deeper into the enemy spawn to try to pull some people backward. The Zap has cooler ready, but their team is very split up here in terms of being close enough to grab it. They try to juke out the Kraken and the Inkjet. They do, but go down to the jetpack. The 96 eventually does get picked up as well. We have a recall from Zaris. So far, Prominence is doing an amazing oh. job really putting on the aggression oh, this the hold. Like, you can just see that they're all the way into the enemy spawn and trying to take advantage of this high ground. The 52 is finally able to move them out of the way, has the killer whale, but isn't using it. So this team's going to be struggling a bit to move in with them. The machine gets stuck in the corner and gets picked off by the ball point of prominence. going to be taking game one. Beautiful place coming up from Elitra's team. Prominence, I definitely think Problem taking space in their street was a very good play. I'm not giving them a lot of control. I had to be careful with how aggressive prominence was being here. Yeah. They they if they killed, I believe, two of them in their street, that would have been another reset for zone control. So it would have been interesting to see that. Hopefully they get it back for game two. Is this supposed to five or three? Uh this is BO3 still. Okay. Museum zones, let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, we have to see what happens here. I mean, this should be a pretty interesting match. I definitely think it's going to be good to see. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen on this kind of map. But we got a lot more uh, freedom for different compositions and play styles on this, but it could also be another map where, you know, the aggressive style prominence likes could just, you know, roll them when you take the enemy plot on this map as well. That's also something we've seen. This could be a very uh, aggressive favored map. Yeah. I also do want to see a sword coming out from one of the teams. It probably will happen, but it is Museum, and Museum does favor the sword. Yeah, sword's very good on this map. I, I would really like to see a scammer or a wiper. I mean, both are very, very strong on this kind of stage. I do think, okay, I definitely think Prominence has the upper hand, but I would like to see TKT run it back and change the side of the game and make a huge upset, but only time can tell. Yeah, we'll have to see. Here we go into the next match, seeing no real changes on the side of TKT and not too many changes on either side. We see a second splash coming Double up. Double splash. But, and outside of that, not too much change in here. Yeah, we do still see some double splash, obviously. I mean, it, 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 it's double splash, you know. It's kind of a tried and true yeah. strategy here. Oh. Well, very early kill from the Droll gets here. locked out on left side by the team, pitching him through. And now they're all just pinning spawn. They're just not doing anything. They double crab. Yeah, we're gonna see both crabs coming out of the attempt to retake. Oh. One of them gets taken out. Once both get taken out. Proved to be a bit of a problem. 
And now it's just the inkjet trying to retake here. Ooh. The E-Leader gets a snipe onto the 96 early on. The jetpack recall barely manages to stay alive, but this E-Leader has no fear going for these kind of shots, even in range of the ball pole. We'll see if they can find another pick here. They're gonna set up Wave Breaker on the high ground. Which does actually hit below the spinner as well from that location. It is very useful. They need to try to take up the splash here oh, before they get crab, and they finally get it out. And with that crab and HN, it's just going to be a bit too much special for the side of TKT to be able to hold. The zap's going to jump out, so they will have a quick pack the cooler to be able to try and regroup with. They could probably throw this out on the flat early as Prominence attempts to bite into them so that they're definitely going to be as much as either 52. You were coming out as well on this so side far. of TKT. I definitely think if they get in right now, they get one pick and reset, it goes through, it should work. Crab comes out on the side of Prominence as well, so this is going to be good. One goes down on the side of Prominence. Two go down, this is going to be good. The Crab able to get the kill, Ooh, gets a pick, but two go down. down yeah. Unfortunately, that angle did look pretty useful, but it might have been better to use the split surface spot to get onto that little bit of high ground there, so it could reach just a little bit further, and that angle, unfortunately, a little bit too limited. Luckily, a quick inkjet oh. is going to allow a very speedy oh. retake. Oh, It's just demolishing the entire other team, leaving this 52 Sorry. stranded in the corner. They're going to opt to jump out here, especially with them being close to this killer well. And the Zap is close to another cooler, but a crab is infiltrated onto the flat. And the Zap just doesn't want to risk dying to it at the moment. The whale is trying to clear some space, but the first pick will be on the side of Prominence as the 52 gets a kill. This e leader is being quite aggressive onto the spinner, does have to attack the cooler to do so. So they're going to try to put some early pressure on this ball point, not let them control the sidelines. They get down a wave breaker, but I don't know if anyone's going to be able to fight with a wave, wave breaker if there's a crack in kind of chasing this Elder around. They managed to get away somehow. There's also someone flanking in zone. It's the Gal, but they go down. Huya comes out from the side of PKP to try to retake. They're going to be using that along with the Fizzy Bomb, but oh no, this oh, no. is just it. perfectly timed. And unfortunately, they're not going to be able to recap through it. And that will... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and that will be Providence taking the set 2-0. to zero. Oh. It was a close game too, so I'm very happy about that. It wasn't something where they just get full knocked out, but good try coming out from TKT. 2-0 to Providence. Yeah, they'll be taking the win as we move on to winners round three. Let's see what set we can cast from there.